Hello and welcome, it's great to see you. Today I am going to attempt a hoop melt for the first time ever. I picked up this kit from Aldi. So it's a Sew Crafty embroidery hoops and trims. It was 4 99 and it comes with two lots of pom-pom trim, which I love. Um, there's grey and there's bright pink. Then it comes with four different sized hoops. I think today we're gonna use this one, which is the third largest. I think it's sort of big enough to not be a mini hoop, but big enough for us today. So obviously I've got these three still to play with, which will be a lot of fun. I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when I post more crafty videos and like this video if you're enjoying it. The only other thing I know is that I want to use the Bunnies and Blooms collection. I got this a few days ago and I have been itching to play with it. So I've also thrown in these flower embellishments because I think they match pretty perfectly. But other than that, I have got 12 by 12, the six by eight foam stickers, the bits and pieces and the puffy stickers. I have watched a few tutorials, but other than that, <laughs> I haven't given this a go before. So we're gonna learn together. I'm not sure if you are supposed to use these separately or whether you're supposed to use them together. Um, I'll use them together because that's how I figure you would use it. And it gives you a bit more of a surface to stick things to. I need to pick my papers. I think we might be able, ha, huh, we can use the six by eight which is handy, although I might grab the stickers out of this for later on. Let's see what papers you want to use. I also love that this is double-sided, which will mean that I only need to use the two papers. Perfect. These ones are cut apart, so I don't really want to use those for this. Um, I like this one use this way or maybe on the front I don't love this one as much so I don't mind it being on the back and then what can we pop with it oh, I love this one um, no let's go for I actually really like this sort of tulip field to go on the back if this goes on the front let me flick through the rest but I think that's what we're gonna do oh you get doubles of each of these oh, okay oh I don't mind using my favorites so much then because <laughs> I really like this one as well but if I've got another one right okay so we will use those two do we wanna I might try and do it so that you keep the rainbow as much as possible. Do we just trace around? I should have some of my little made by labels here somewhere. I really need to make an Easter version of these, but for now I'm just using what I made for Valentine's Day. There we go, that will look sweet on the back. So let's trace around this and cut it out. Using my giant Disney pen probably wasn't the best choice there we go right let's cut that one out you could probably measure the hoop and then cut this on a digital cutting machine or if you've got dies see if you've got one that's the correct size and use that there we go in fact that would have been a nice image to have on the inside but it would be covered up far too much so we'll pop that on the back does it match nicely yeah I've done a decent job there impressed with that I'm not sure if I want to add no I don't want to add stitching to that I will oh, I was gonna stitch that on but then you'll be able to see it um i might just have to add fake stitching so stitch around this and then glue that on i'm going to do that before i attach it on here and then i'll come back and show you 
I've stitched around the edge of this. So now we can stick it on with some double-sided tape. There we go. Then I presume I just add glue to the frame. And then same sort of process for this. I probably should have traced this at the same time. Um, although we could do this so that we know we get a nice clean edge, <laughs> which is handy. And trim this one. I know I want this stitched, so I will stitch this one before I stick it down there we go i just need to decide if i want whoop, throwing things everywhere I need to decide if i want any like fun edging on the top here i've got quite a lot of edge punches in fact i think this one will be perfect so i am gonna edge punch this so it looks like this i usually add something behind there to fill in these hearts, so like some glitter paper or something. But because we're gonna be popping things inside the hoop mail, I think I like it as is. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch. Um, do I wanna do the whole semicircle? I'm not sure whether to do the whole semicircle or just around here, but I'll stitch that and then I will come back and show you. This is the piece all stitched and ready to go on the front here. I'm not sure whether it will be better to stick that down now and embellish it or whether to embellish it beforehand. Let's have a look and see what we're planning on using. That might help. Let's grab a little tub to pop these in. These are from Ikea and they are from the kitchen section. I don't know if that helps you, <laughs> the little barcode, but I often use them to hold ephemera packs. Oh, you get, oh, I thought you got doubles, you don't but they're still pretty nonetheless. I like that one. I'm not sure the word East looks a bit bigger. Pink skies ahead, I love that sentiment. Um, too similar to the ones in the background, really. There's a little bunny. Bunny's kind of cute. Little goose, probably a bit small for this one. Mm, that one's not too bad. Ooh. That one's cute. I kind of like the whole body though. I like him up there. Love grows here. That is cute. Spring is in the air. You are sunshine. Bloom where you're planted. This is the sticker I was thinking of because also I like that this bird is looking in and this bunny is looking in in the other way. I'm hoping that makes sense. I need to get the chipboard for this collection. It's the one thing I missed out on. I don't think there's a bunny, well there's bunny like heads but not a whole bunny on this one. All sorts of cute things though. Super sweet. They've got the little yellow bird which I think they've got our little, is that a hummingbird? which is annoying because that probably would have been more um, robust on the corner there, but oh well. And then we've got puffy stickers, lots of pretty puffy stickers. I think we will go, oh, he's so much smaller though, which is very frustrating. <laughs> he's like the perfect size. I'm really struggling choosing my base design. So what I'm gonna do is add this on so it's easier to work with. I really like how it looks from the back. <laughs> I really like the little bit on there. Lots of room for goodies. Some things come together so easily and other ones take 
ages for you to decide what you want. So this is going in a very different direction <laughs> to where it was going when we started. I'm thinking of having gloves. And I'm going to use Love Grows here instead of Lovely Day. Right, let's get sticking some stuff down. A lot of this needs foam tape and then it will be much easier to piece together. So, our little gloves. I'm gonna run this through the sewing machine, turn it into a ruffle, and then I'll be back. And as simple as that, we have a little chalk ruffle. Let's mind these pieces. I actually think if we keep it to here, and I can always trim the bottom bits off, I'm gonna go for it we've spent so much time <laughs> messing about trying to decide i'm just gonna start going for it that little bird didn't I? Although now I'm looking at the puffy stickers I wonder if this little mouse wouldn't be so cute <laughs> sitting down there. My plan was to pop this guy like I could still put him up there I was gonna have him on the shoulder but he doesn't really Oh, he looks cute there though. It does cover the bunny's cotton tail though. Which is, no, we don't want to do that. Right, let's go with the little mouse. Because I do think that little mouse is super sweet. What else have we got that we could have? Well, this was a journey, wasn't it? <laughs> sometimes I sit down to craft and it comes together so quickly and easily. And sometimes I come back to it day after day and just add little bits. I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? So this is probably going to be one of those pieces that tomorrow I look at it and I'm like, how did I not see that I could do this and this and this? There we go. I still want to add something, but who knows what. Actually quite like that little trowel there um what about i'm definitely going to add some gems we've got these gorgeous glittery white ones we've got all of these bluey colors which match perfectly for this maybe i need to bring some of the bright yellow forward because there's a lot of it back here i've got these yellow ones actually that match quite well and i've just thought i pulled those flowers you know that i said matched really well and we haven't looked at those maybe tucking some of those behind would bring it together so we've got all of the colours that definitely helps there you go see I knew I'd come up <laughs> with something And then enamel dots. 
These are matte ones from Doodlebug. And I have had them in my stash forever and a day. So I'm excited to get some of these used up actually. There you go. In fact, do you know, I wonder if I can get this off. I think what might pull this all together is if I stitch underneath the love grows here super cute yes perfect we could definitely tuck a few more bits in but i don't want to be taking up your day <laughs> with my indecisiveness Maybe some different florals might work. Right, I found the little ones I was talking about. These little fabric roses. hope I think that came together really nicely so it's definitely worth digging through your stash and seeing what other little bits and pieces you can find because I think all of the little florals really pull that one together while I was sitting here looking at this I've just added a few little florals up here in the little bird that I wanted to add earlier and I really like what that adds so I thought I'd just pop back and show you that I'm definitely a tweaker when it comes to crafting I'm always messing with things so I thought I'd show you just the little extra bit that I added on there. Thanks so much for hanging out and crafting. Please let me know if you enjoy these longer, chattier processes, the ones where it doesn't come together instantly. Um, and if you have this collection, what you've been making. I'll see you next time. Bye.